Holy smokes, Panasonic looks like they may be coming out with something very interesting with a brand new patent that seems to be, you know, filed by Panasonic about potentially an internal electronic ND filter for a mirrorless camera. So could this potentially be a game changer? I definitely say yes. Is it possible and they're going to be in the S1H Mark II or even the BS1H Mark II? May have to pump the brakes for a second. If Or if it is, we're not going to see this camera for quite a bit of a while or any camera for Panasonic for a while. But let's drive in. Now, this uh, information came out a, a, a while back, maybe about a little bit over a week ago. But essentially, the, the news broke first by, broke by uh, YM Cinema Magazine. And, you know, big shout out to them for breaking the story. This was back on August 24th. But I figured I would just share it in case you guys missed it. Especially given the fact that we're not that far from IBC. Uh, b &H actually has their own internal event happening right now in New York kind of debating if I'm going to go to New York tomorrow, which would be Thursday, September 7th. We'll see. Uh, I might show up and I'll, I'll try to make it out there as, as quick as possible. But I did want to just show quickly go and show you guys this right here, which is the, the new story that broke like last week regarding Panasonic. And that is the fact that uh, Panasonic has been developing a electronic ND filter, or at least they filed a patent. And obviously, if you could check out by the design, this is clearly designed, or at least with the outline part, it's at least they're looking to seem to try to add this to an L mount mirrorless camera, which is very exciting because if Panasonic is able to do this, if Panasonic is able to uh, actually pull this off and get a variable in D. So if we, uh, we're going to expand this. Okay. Well, this is weird. All right. Freaking ads. Okay. I don't, I don't know why there were ads there before, but let's, uh, all right, let's go here. So yes. So the headline goes, Panasonic has filed a new patent demonstrating a variable built-in electronic and D filter, the patent titled imaging apparatus published a week ago, shows the, de the detailed design of one of the most requested features for video capture, which will the next Panasonic camera contain a variable electronic ND filter? So, uh, in depth, so I'll leave a link to the article below if you haven't seen it, and I'll leave a link to that. But the gist of it is if we go down to figure six, so or figure four, well, basically there's going to be a knob system, and essentially there's going to be it's going to be an ND system that's going to be, uh, it looks to be electronic, but also, and I'm assuming this part is the clear pass, but essentially this part right here, which I am circling right now, is the electronic ND filter. And then I guess you'll swap this part out over here, and this will be, I guess, the clear, the clear pass filter that you'll have right here. And then this knob, and basically you will, you can, I guess, engage it or you activate it or adjust it based on the knob in the front right here. So you'll be able to, in some way, an to pull an analog and you can ro adjust the ND kind of like you can on the Kinfinity Edge series of cameras as well as the, um, most infinitely, the Sony, the Sony cameras like the FX6, uh, you can, where you can use the electronic ND filter. But we haven't seen this yet on a mirrorless camera yet. So this is our first sort of indication that Panasonic is going here. It's going to be here. Let's look at here. Uh, uh, where is it? The filter unit. All right, let's look at it just a second. The filter unit includes a plurality of differential optical filters and a disc that supports the plurality of optical filters. Um, Essentially, what they're saying is basically there's a there the, the electronic ND filter. The plurality of optical filters is provided on the disc side by side in circum in circumferential direction around the rotation center line of the disc. As the disc rotates, one optical filter is deposed in front of the imaging surface of. So essentially, what they're saying is you know you rotate this. 
this rotates one of these guys to go in front of the image. So you either will put this in, roll, this will either rotate this in or rotate this in. Um, but yeah, this is essentially the gist of it. So uh, I'm definitely excited. Um, this would be something that I think most people assume is going to be in the S1H line, maybe the S1H Mark II. Um, or I personally would love to see this in the BS1H. Uh, I think if the BS1, if the BS1H Mark II was to get this, it would be it would be a killer. A lot. Um, obviously, there's still some other things I think would be there, like just even if there's a little screen, I think. Most people feel that same way. If you could just have a screen, just to go through the menus and things like that, and have that on, have that there. Uh, the other thing would be, I think, really, I think the thing Panasonic definitely sh should work on is their processor, so you can get better frame rates and rolling shutter performances. I think that's because obviously, I think we're all assuming that whatever uh, camera that comes out of Panasonic is going to have their new phase detection autofocus system. I, I would be shocked if any camera that they come with after that will not have the phase detection autofocus system. So it just makes it just makes sense that. But if the S1H and for me personally, if the BS1H was to get this uh, electron in the feature, the Mark IIs would be great. However, this says this patent was filed and it was disclosed that it was filed about a week before this article was published, meaning, you know, they haven't actually gotten the patent for this yet. So this isn't, something tells me this isn't coming anytime soon. Uh, so if it is the S1H Mark II, it sounds like to me this won't come until maybe a, a year or so from now at, at the earliest. If they are planning to announce something at the end of the year, it's definitely not going to, then this definitely will not be in this camera. So I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know with your thoughts before I'll leave your comments below. Uh, I think if Panasonic can nail this, this will really, really help them gain more, gain more grounds, which I know they are definitely looking into doing. Uh, but I'm excited to see whatever camera this comes out with. But I would love to know your thoughts. Leave your comments below. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care, everyone.